What's up, Modus fam? Thanks again for joining us. So this is the third video in the locomotion movement series. We're gonna go over the lizard crawl. This is a fantastic move if you wanna work on your strength, your flexibility, like all of the above, and it looks really cool. So if you missed any of the other videos, so we got the cat and the ole, I'm gonna link those below so you can work on those in isolation as well before you move into this one. All right, let's do this. So the third movement we're gonna look at and three variations of this movement is the lizard crawl. So variation one is gonna be our high lizard, variation two, lizard push up, variation three, the low lizard. So starting with the high lizard, Mercedes is gonna start out in like a plank position. So different than the cat, we're gonna think of having kind of this longer structure. And from here, stepping up, once again, contralateral, opposite arm, opposite foot. So from here, this is kind of the difference with the cat is that we want to stay long as much as possible and not get bunched up if we can. So from here, Mercedes is going to lift her left arm. She's going to send it forward and steps up with the right leg. Notice how her left leg is straight, right? So she sends this arm, takes another step, leg straightens and then steps the foot down awesome maybe we'll show it once of what not to do so from here maybe mercedes steps up way too far and then on the next step steps up way too far and now you're in a cat All right so kind of compresses the pattern we don't want to do that if we can we're going to stay nice and long like a plank. Great. So now, sticking with this high lizard, we're just going to add in a little bit more detail to make the movement look a little bit cooler. So, same thing as before with the first step, just we'll start in this contrail position. Awesome. So now, we're gonna think of this back leg as internally rotating. Yep, as she reaches that arm up. And as she steps, it externally rotates and comes down there. So it's almost like a lizard tail flick. Internally rotates at the hip. As it comes up, it externally rotates and goes down. Internal rotation. External rotation, internal, external. Very nice. So that's your high lizard. So the second variation of the lizard is going to be the lizard push-up. Same start as the high lizard. And with this one, think of that kind of tail flick we did with the leg as something you can either do or not do. If it's something that feels cool, awesome. If you want to keep it more basic, awesome as well. So with this, we'll do the basic variation first. From this position, Mercedes is going to do a push-up. Get as low as she can. Same thing now, steps the arm up, steps the leg up, and does a push up. Steps the arm up, leg up. Very nice. So, what you may be able to see here is she's slightly rotated with her upper body as she goes down to do the push up. And it's almost using that front arm. So have a little bit more of the weight than the back arm, more loaded there. Versus maybe Mercedes, try one rep where you try and be without the rotation. Kind of more awkward on the shoulder, 
doesn't feel as good, but if she can kind of turn into it, yep. Now it's a little bit closer to a tricep push-up, and exactly, she can eventually work towards supporting down that low position with one arm. So, lizard push-up, good way to start building strength for our third variation coming next. So the third and final variation of the lizard crawl is going to be the low lizard. So with this one, Mercedes is going to start out like the high lizard just at the beginning, but now she's going to go to that bottom low position in the push-up. The first variation, she's just going to move her arm up and then slides over to that arm and steps the leg up. Arm moves up, connects. She almost rotates on her axis to support on this other arm and then takes the step up. And foot comes up as she rotates over and steps. Very nice. So think of that as maybe your introduction to the low lizard. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging with a little bit more um, flow later on, She's now gonna do the arm and the leg at the same time. So arm sweeps and leg steps. So you'll see there's a moment as her arm is sweeping, the leg is off the ground and she only has two points of contact. Taking that arm, sweeping it around and then stepping up. Sweep, stepping up, nice. All right, so that was the lizard. That was really hard. I hope that you got something out of that super strengthy move. If you can figure it out, it looks really nice. So keep working on it. And remember to go back to these videos and rewatch them, get really good at these patterns. And so we've got one more video coming out that's gonna help you piece all of this together. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.